I'm Das. I'm a fourth year history and politics student. I did a um, study abroad in Ireland uh, where I did classics for a year. But actually, this term I'm mostly doing geography anyway, so I'm sort of studying everything there is. My name is Sajjad Hussain. I joined Falmouth University in September 2020. I'm currently doing PhD in the School of Entrepreneurship. I am Jack. I am a University of Exeter second year undergraduate studying international relations with the College of Social Science and Politics. Well, hey, I'm Ellie. I'm a third year creative events management student. My name's Mars. Um, I'm a postgraduate student, so I study marine vertebrate ecology um, with Exeter. I'm Michael. Um, I'm in my third year studying politics and international relations. I'm Tom, uh, and I'm studying business and management at Falmouth, not Exeter. Um, but I'm doing like an accelerated degree. So this just means I study longer over the summer, but graduate in two years rather than your typical three. One thing which always surprises people is I can't see in three dimensions. Um, I have a condition which means I can only see things flat, which is really, really quite weird. Also, I was voted at school, most likely to kill Voldemort um, in every yearbook I've ever been in. I always laugh. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes people get confused, like the thing like I never get upset. I once took part in a charity 30 mile walk in a single day. I'm a massive eccentrist. I uh, don't know if you can tell by this get up. I'm usually a lot more jazzy than this. You can ask anyone I know. I'm usually much brighter, much taller than this from platform shoes and a lot louder. My research at the minute is on sharks um, and I've just landed a deal to study deep sea shark diversity in Bermuda and Bahamas, um, which is super exciting for me. I'm half Austrian. Um, I'm fluent in German. I have a funky shirt collection of like 30 plus. First of all, I think it's just a really lovely opportunity to have for a year, isn't it? To just sort of, you know, be there and support societies and clubs. But also, I, I've really struggled with stress this year, financially especially, and not having, you know, clubs and societies to go to, or opportunities to meet new people, has been, it's taken away that main sort of um, support network you have at university. We haven't had that this year, so I sort of want to make sure that next year that comes back with a bang and uh, people, you know, get all the support they need. This year is a, is a very challenging year for all the students and students union and the whole movement needs a proper genuine action to take for students' betterment. And I think as because I have experience in the past how a student union operates and how it look after its members. So I feel like this year, if I spend one year at Falmouth and Exeter Students' Union, I can really bring the change for the students uh, making it a student-led union. Obviously everyone throughout the pandemic's had a different experience personally as bit whilst being students but also either living abroad having other uh, commitments and duties so I want to make sure that everybody's experiences in this pandemic are taken into account in moving forward and to see how we can improve the student experience. I think after the really lonely and long year we've just had we could really do with a bit of light and a bit of sunshine in our lives in a metaphorical sense and a physical one and I'm really hoping to be that sort of ray of light and bring people together and make the university experience whole again to the best of my ability using as much student input as I can do. I've seen examples of what works in the past and what doesn't and I think I just want to help the new students or existing students who, who have further studies here um, to get the experience that I kind of missed out on. Um, there have been things that I, I felt like I, I wish there was more of or I wish this was advertised and I kind of want, I don't want students after me to miss out. I've really enjoyed my time down here in Falmouth and at Exeter um, and I'd love to be involved in the process with making sure other students have um, the same experience that I've had and yeah, improve the things that need improving about the uni. I've only been at Falmouth, like this is my second year and I really am missing out on that third year and I just, I really want to like hold on to that. Um, but then also because of like these two years, one's been like, practically fully in person, one's been like practically online for like the foreseeable future. I've also like noticed all these gaps and problems that like students are facing and like staff likewise, that I want to kind of like help try and fix. I think I've been at Penryn for long enough now that I know how the SU works. Um, you know, I've been a rep since first year. I'm currently the student voice chair. So I've been coordinating all the current campaigns about um, you know, rent reductions or, you know, mitigation from both universities. I know how the SU works. But also I've just, you know, I've got to know a lot of people and I've seen how the university's changed and actually the direction things are going in. I'm currently a trustee board member at, at our union. 
I did a uh, two years offices role at London South Bank University. Before that, I was a student ambassador. I was a um, sports ambassador. I have done a few other roles, small, I mean, little roles, but every role was like about students experience. I'd say what makes me different from the other candidates is that I'm very focused on it, making sure that each year group, because each year group has a very different student experience and making sure they all link up and making sure uh, that the next steps post university are also taken into account. So I want to make sure that everybody leaves their respective courses and departments feeling prepared to go into the, well, the big wide world. I'm open officer for the student council. So I do a lot with representation. I'm a student trustee. So I know a lot about the sort of inner workings, finances of the uni. I'm a course representative. So I understand how to take people's opinions on board and make real change with them. I'm a uni buddy and a student ambassador. So I know how to make the uni look its best on the inside and on the outside. And I'm a past leader and a student mentor. So I've worked a lot with loads of students throughout the uni. I've experienced a lot as a student. Five years is, is no short time. Um, I've also had, I do have experience in kind of working the SU. I've been a uh, course rep. So I've, I spent time abroad studying. Um, so I got, I got, I gleaned a lot of information from an international perspective of what student experience can be. I've currently taken on the role of um, SU education officer for postgraduates in Exeter, the Penrhyn campus. And one of the things that um, kind of became clear to me was this disparity in prioritization for undergrads and postgrads. Um, and I noticed kind of postgrads seem to be forgotten a little bit and I really want to bring them into the picture. I think I'm very hardworking and motivated to tackle the issues. Um, and yeah, I just love to get involved with the student body and hear everyone's voices and work together to get things changed. I've been on societies, I've been a part of like the committees, been a course rep, I've been a mentor to others and I've been a student ambassador. So you could say I've kind of like got around a little bit around the uni. In regards to my manifesto, like I've kept it short, concise, six points that I think everyone can relate to. Uh, and obviously I've got some really cool ideas that I really want to like push for. So other than that, I can't really say that I'm better than anyone else. Like that's only because like if you've read everyone's manifestos, everyone's got kind of like points that all, in my opinion, should all be dealt with. You've got all these stresses which build up anyway, and you know, whether it's your rent or whether, you know, it's you think you're getting behind with your coursework. And the easiest thing you can always do normally is just go and see other people, you know, and for freshers especially, it's appalling. A lot of my campaign is about making sure that, you know, clubs come back, sports come back, and it's easier to take part in university life. But also as well, I want to make sure that university spaces um, a lot you know nicer so that when we do come back everyone sort of has the opportunities to to mingle to meet people at this moment covid19 is the biggest issue for our students the quality of education is questionable the students mark great is gonna is gonna be like a big challenge uh, for your students so no detriment policy should be you know, establish as soon as possible. Students' fees, uh, you need to look at the, how uh, we can, you know, give back student fees back to them because it's not fair for them, for the students to pay the full amount of fees and uh, getting not a quality of education. Then when students come back to campus, it is also questionable, like what are the activities, what union is doing for them when they return to campus back to normal after COVID-19. So we need to make a strategic plan for this. The coronavirus pandemic has impacted everyone's mental health in unforeseen and many different ways. As I said earlier about everyone having their own different experience whilst at university. Whilst uni has been great in pushing on mental health, I want to make sure that we go even further that students feel they can reach out, talk to one another, to help remove this stigma of not being able to talk about mental health and to be able to ensure that all students are able to not feel limited and to not be able to talk about their mental health. We're so far away from each other. We're so separated, both physically and mentally. Throughout my manifesto, you can see I've been trying to bring people together through societies or events or an inclusive common cause or innovations through the uni. And I'm just hoping to bring people together again and lighten the load of the pain that we've all been going through. Obviously, we all want COVID to, to to go away by summer and we want to be able to return to in-person stuff and on-campus stuff by September but the reality of that is it might not happen so I want to push for more accessible events that can be done in person but also have an alternative in case Covid is still a problem I want I want more 
communal events that everyone can take part in whether whether they can attend campus or not i think the issue at the moment is the support given to students um surrounding coronavirus um so i'll make sure that the students voices are heard and continue to make sure the university give adequate support for everything that people need mainly like the lack of like social mixing so that's like the socializing so the lack of people having that university experience the way i'll address it is kind of like try and hold events in like a normal manner as possible but obviously changing them like accordingly to like everything that's happening also like um the uncertainty of what to do next so obviously that's mainly for like the current second years and the third years not knowing what to do in like the world of post-graduation my case to kind of like tackle that would be create more workshops and safe spaces to kind of like let them come in, answer, ask questions and like just create their own opportunities and also like use like Falmouth and Exeter's contacts to kind of like force like placements to happen so everyone can kind of pretty much get experience tailored to their industry. I really think the way the SU runs itself um, leaves a lot to be desired. And I want to change the way we listen to student voice a lot to make sure that actually the priorities we stick to are the right priorities. I mean, we spent something like twenty thousand pounds on NUS affiliation this year. And the NUS haven't really done anything with regard to any of the campaigns students have. I strongly believe that student union has to be very transparent to our students and making a very strong relationship with the stakeholders, university executives and governors. Because this year, what I came to know is university cut five percent of our block grant. So I believe that our, we need to look into this and making our relationship better with the university executives. It is very important this year to make sure that we have more money to support our students, not the cut, because cutting money is going to put our union in the worst situation. What I'd really like to achieve is, again, focusing on getting back on track, ensuring things like winter balls, graduation ceremonies can go ahead, ensuring that people can use campus facilities like the library, which is a a great resource. That's also why I've included select evenings having third year priority access to the silent section of the library to write dissertations to have that uh, important study space. Um, also to improve overall campus sustainability. That's not directly been referenced in my manifesto, but that's still a very important point for me. I do believe that we can go further in ensuring that campus is sustainable. We live in such a beautiful part of the world down in Cornwall that it's important that it's protected and preserved at all costs. I'd really like to do some things with sustainability. Um, mainly, I'd like to try and get some composting facilities on campus, specifically a vegetable composter, because I don't know if you actually know, they don't compose, the, they decompose the same way that you think everything else does. It has to go through a special process, otherwise it's just basically still plastic. Additionally, I'd like to maybe get a paper-free system in the SU, because trust me, as a person that's done some work in the SU, I've seen stacks of paperwork like this. And I'd like to improve the uh, recycling system. Additionally, I want some more biodiversity on campus, namely in the form of a flower garden. I was thinking this could either be an anxiety space or just a nice quiet space, space for study, because like, who doesn't love flowers? Integration with the local community. I remember there was a time when there was a whole campaign of down with hate students, and there was this clash between people coming to study and members of the community and nobody was happy. One of the other things that's concerning is um, at Exeter prioritising students in sports related areas. So the real worry that when Exeter gains these three new pitches that they're building, that other local community kind of clubs or groups will, will want to use them as well. So there's a, there's a real worry for me that students will always be prioritised over uh, non-students. I'd really like to improve the sporting facilities down here. Um, I feel like Exeter put all their money into the Streatham campus and there's not much really going on, especially in like campus facilities. Um, so I'd really like to push through the um, Cornwall Sports Project, which has been in, in work for a number of years to get more um, so facilities like 3G pitches, AstroTurfs, tennis courts on campus for students to use cheaply and just increase accessibility for sport. Look into like working with societies such as Falmouth Anchor and Surf Radio to kind of um, and also utilise the uni facilities and like IOP soft and almost create like this Falmouth news programme that we can pop onto the screens around campus. Thinking out, out, out the box things and making ways for more people to be able to attend in a safer manner such as using the outdoor lecture theatre on Penryn campus to do a pop-up movie night. So pop up a protector screen, I mean that's a socially distanced event or during the, and like hold like seasonal events as well. So it's the summer, outdoor bars, more things like this.
as the first ever elected student voice chair um, at the university. I think it's important that actually that role continues to grow. I think the student council and reps should have more powers. And I think actually the presidents, when we think about it, they need to start thinking about their jobs as reps rather than as the start of a career in student politics. Um, one thing I'm really keen to do is to introduce one year term limits on the presidents and I think international students as well. We really need to do better as a university to listen to international students. We have course step system, so we can develop the course step system very well. I have done that at South Bank and then we can also reach out to all the societies, sports people. Then we can reach out to all the ambassadors to listen to them. I'll try to reach out to every single student I can. But obviously we have to develop this platform for our students to raise their issues and voice and union uh, needs to make a good strategy plan for this because this year is a different year for our students. I'll be holding three, uh, three fortnightly sessions, one for each main year group and then we'll have a separate one for fourth year and master students to ensure that they can come and speak to us face to face. It's important to have that transparency and to ensure that students can have that form of direct democracy where they can speak to us and they can say this is not working this is what we want to see and then we can go away and we can uh, we can investigate what they want and how best to implement it i think that's the most important way that you have that face to face transparency i will listen to student voice through the rep system through student council and just having a chat with anyone that helps have a conversation i'm going to make sure that my doors open whenever it can be and as well i don't know if i can do but in some way i'd like to have my like details if anyone wants to email me and um, just so we can have a little chat about a manifesto i'd absolutely love to have a chat because maybe i've not included your perspective and i want to include everyone i want to increase su presence at all campuses including falmouth and truro so i want i want to set up like you know maybe um twice monthly drop-in sessions where students can come and face to face tell us about problems they have and we can they can get the sense that we're actually listening to them it's very different sending an email to someone and waiting six days for a reply then going in person to someone and feeling like your your voice has been heard i'll just open myself up to allow people to message me come up to talk to me um, when that's allowed and uh yeah as much as many possibilities for students to be able to interact with me and get their voices heard and work together to achieve the things that everyone wants i want to get to know the students personally what i want to do is kind of like on a bi-weekly basis it's kind of get into like um, if we can in person i would love to be in person sit down with like all of these departments like you know i mean have like a little 10 15 minute session with each of them pop around to see them and just ask them how their uni experience is going to create a safe space for them to um kind of touch upon and like be able to build that like safety net for them to talk to me and approach me and talk to like me about anything